Hi everyone, welcome to ACJ Integrated Newsroom. We are here to discuss the spread of dengue disease across India. So, uh, Kerala tops the list with over a uh, report of 18,000 uh, dengue cases, uh, followed by Karnataka with uh, more than 13,000 uh, report of dengue. Uh, Tamil Nadu is in third position with more than 12,000 uh, cases of dengue being reported. In the death list, uh, Tamil Nadu tops the list with uh, 40 people died until October 15. Uh, Kerala is in the second position with uh, 35 number of people died. Uh, Uttar, Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, which has uh, very less number of cases being reported, uh, like around uh, less than 200, uh, is in third position with 24 number of people dead. So the Tamil Nadu government has been trying very hard to ensure that they have a control over this particular dengue situation in Chennai and in Tamil Nadu as a whole. So they've set up 24 hour uh, dengue uh, helplines um, that operates through the uh, Directorate of Public Health. They've also advised all uh, private hospitals to stick to the prescribed dengue um, control procedures and not to overdose um, patients as there have been reports of people who have received too much medication in this uh, particular uh, three month span alone. Um, the Tamil Nadu government also said that they would take action against pharmacies who sold um, drugs without prescriptions. Um, the Tamil Nadu government has received about uh, 256 crore rupees as funding from the center to uh, counter this dengue crisis. The principal secretary of tourism, culture and uh, religious endowments department, Apur Apurva Varma, uh, visited villages in Tamil Nadu and spoke to the people over there, suggesting that they should cover all of their water containers to prevent an outbreak. Um, cleaning drives have occurred in um, Tanjavur, Tiruchi and Tirun Tirunalveri. Um, <clears throat> the health minister C. Vijay Bhaskar said that the uh, dengue situation was on a decline and would probably peter out in about 10 to 15 days. Um, the uh, uh, Chief Minister uh, had a meeting with Vijay Bhaskar and spoke to him about means, uh, methods to control the dengue outbreak. They suggested that every Thursday would be Dengue Awareness Day in the, um, in the state. There's also been a political angle to this entire situation. On 4th October, uh, Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath, said in Kanur that uh, a state as small as Kerala had already seen 300 dengue deaths. This sparked some sort of outrage, outrage in the uh, state, with the Chief Minister saying in a Facebook post that it amused him that somebody like Adityanath would say something like this when um, uh, Uttar Pradesh was in negative press at that particular time. Uh, he also said that Uttar Pradesh had a high higher um, infant mortality rate than uh, Kerala. Thank you. So uh, let's look at the two major uh, natural medicines prescribed by some doctors and even the government of Tamil Nadu. First is andrographis, which is also known as the Nilavimbu Pudini or the Nilavimbu tonic. And the next one is the papaya leaf syrup, which is also prescribed as a, uh, as a medicine to cure dengue or prevent it. Um, but uh, 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 the, the, these two uh, syrups are being uh, given to the people of Tamil Nadu by the government free of cost uh, as a preventive measure uh, for dengue. Uh, but a WebMD uh, report uh, suggests that uh, andrographis, which is also known as the Nilavimukudini, is possibly unsafe when taken by mouth during pregnancy. They also say that not enough is known about the safety of andrographis during breastfeeding. But Tamil Nadu uh, government uh, is yet to spread awareness about pregnancy and breastfeeding uh, and, and uh, taking of uh, andrographis among the people of Tamil Nadu. Thank you. For more about Dengue, please visit our website print.acjnewsline.org. Thank you so much. Mama.